Hi, Villager. Today I wanted to share a very special trip with you. I am here in the city of love, the city of lights, Paris, France. I'm here this weekend visiting my sister who just earned her MBA from the International Business School in Seattle. And while I'm here, I decided to turn it into a little bit of an antique trip. And I'll be looking for some gorgeous finds for our shop, Village Antiques, as well as for my own personal home, a design project I've been working on for many, many years. So come along with me as I share with you some of the highlights of my trip to Paris and some of the most inspiring places that I've seen. So here I am in an antique store, and we are going to be looking for some finds. When you go on these sort of trips, you have to be able to look beyond what you don't like and find the one piece that really speaks to you. So far, I've found two paintings. Two paintings that we've been able to pull off the wall that would be a beautiful addition to some of the pieces I've already started looking at. And right here, right here I found this gorgeous painting that has boats and it's on the water. It's a vintage piece, actually an antique piece and period piece, but at a little over 2,500 euros, it's definitely something that's out of the budget. As I'm looking around, I really love this piece right here. So I'm going to ask the dealer and see if he can do me a good deal on this piece. You'll find when you go antiquing, you'll find so many things that you just might not love, but look past and you can find the hidden treasures that you'll find when you go antiquing. Hi, good morning. I'm here at the market early this morning looking for some fantastic finds like usual. And I just stumbled upon these beautiful, beautiful shutters uh, in the back of a shop behind these really gorgeous Gothic chairs. I don't usually buy period pieces such as Gothic style, but uh, they really attracted me to the piece right behind them. Uh, let me take a minute here to show you what these look like. These beautiful period chairs are what attracted to me to these shutters that you can see right behind. They have the most gorgeous weathered gray patina with the antique iron hardware still attached. I think they probably started out as an original cream color, but just aging and time, wear and tear have turned them into this beautiful, beautiful, deep, rich gray color uh, that we all love to incorporate in our home decor right now. I'm very excited. This is a great find. Good start to early morning of the day. I just fell in love with this book of maps. This antique book of maps is just gorgeous. The pages are torn, worn, and show a lot of age and character. And you can flip through and see all different regions throughout Indonesia, France. Um, many different countries that have been depicted in one antique book of maps. These are the kind of special one-of-a-kind pieces that just make my heart jump when I'm looking for things to put in my store, in my home, and in our clients homes. As I'm walking around the market I'm finding a lot of beautiful pieces and sometimes you'll find pieces that are quite in perfect condition which is pretty common when you're going around antique fairs or uh, furniture stores, vintage shops, and you kind of have to use some imagination and see, can you work with the piece, can you tweak it when you get it home, can you do some touch-up paint, can you replace the glass, and things like that. So I wanted to show you a pair of paintings that I just found, a set of watercolors. I'm working on a design project with a little boy's room, and these two paintings look perfect. I love the age and the patina, and let me take a minute here to show these to you. Here you can see these gorgeous, gorgeous watercolors. The age on them is so beautiful. You can see the watermarks and the aging on the paper itself. They're in this gorgeous antique frame which has a lot of little dings and character and a little bit of chipping right here in the corner. Now for me personally, I love this kind of age and character, but for you, if it's not something that's quite your cup of tea, this is something that you could easily take home to your framer and have reframed to a frame that suits your uh, decor. 
And here's another example of some wear and tear. The glass is broken, but you can easily get this replaced for probably $10 to $15 for a piece of glass. So don't overlook things just because of a few character flaws. Those things add gorgeous age and patina to your, your rooms, your projects, and your overall decor. Every time I come, I get to visit many special places, such as the Loire Valley, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, the Arts de Triomphe, the Louvre, and many, many, many other historical sites that are significant to this city. I'll be sure to share pictures when I get back, and of course, share the date of our container arrival so you can see all the amazing inventory I picked up on my visit to Paris this year. Au revoir.